What's up everybody, Nucleo Nick here, and welcome back to Good Pizza, Great Pizza. Now I know in the last episode I mentioned that we weren't gonna, that I was gonna, you know, play ahead off camera and come back, but I know in the last episode though we bought that new, uh, we got the new upgrade. Um, we need to go, there we go, fix that. Oh, it's still raining in my store. It's still raining in my store. Olives and onions. Just in time for the O festival, ha ha ha. Oh, okay. So I guess that's a that's a jab at us because we don't have the proper ingredients. Pepperoni and cheese. Don't slice the pizza, though, please. Okay, pepperoni and cheese. But yeah, so we we get the ingredient thing diagram. So I wanted to try that out and show you guys before aha wow that's hard that is really hard to get those on there one of the pepperonis what what all right so this is going to show us how to cut it the lines to cut and where to put the pepperonis and the ingredients so but it didn't it didn't what it needs to stay on all the time I think this is it though. Basically, your three pieces of oh look at the look at the boxes. It's a it's a Halloween box. Oh, I sliced it and I wasn't supposed to. You big dummy. Ah, uh, can I get some shrooms on my pizza? Sure. Ah, uh, we messed up. We were too busy. I was too busy yapping about the daggum ingredient thing, and we screwed up. Screwed up big time. I would like to thank everybody that came out and supported the live stream last night. We had a grand old time. We had some fun, some laughs. I had a blast. Got some new people, so if you're if you're new and you're you joined us at the live stream, welcome, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you part of the the Nucleo Squad. Alright, so we're gonna cut like that and then cut somewhere like that there we go so it's three pieces of ingredient per slice is the ideal oh this pizza gave me the alligator jiggle fever macaroni pizza i got you i feel what you're putting down you're talking about pepperoni but you got uh you got kind of excited so you didn't really you didn't really specify you wanted pepperoni not macaroni and not being able to see where you're actually putting the pepperoni is really hard like your finger covers up where you're touching so it's going to be like a like a guessing game i get well i mean I'm, I'm assuming you're going to get better at it like it's going to it's going to get to where you can do it better so we're gonna cut there we're gonna cut there we're gonna cut there right yeah with this pizza I am complete well that's good I don't know if you should allow your life to be controlled by pizza but I like I'd like you to make a half pepperoni and half sausage but all with no cheese and make that super crispy all right half pepperoni half sausage no cheese oh wow you can't see the all right then half sausage all with no cheese and extra crispy so here we go we're gonna extra crispy this bad boy I'm assuming that's just running it through twice. Back through the oven you go. You should just have an option to turn, slow down the oven. That should be a good option, It's to slow down the oven. All right, look at that. That, oh, got it. Got it. And got it. Okay, all right, there we go. You gosh dang beautiful person. Thank you. This perfect pizza. All right. 
That's new. I don't think we've ever had that before. So, olives? Mm, do we have olives yet? I don't think so. No. So we need to get olives. He's got olives and onions. Can I get a... Can I get two pizzas with the large purple tomato things? Yep, you can. I don't see how they're tomato things, but whatever. Cheese it. Cheese it up. Yeah. We like cheese here on this channel. We like lots of cheese. Cheesy cheese. I am, I am horrible about this, pa this pattern thingy. But at least we're getting the t the correct amount of toppings. Like I think that is a plus. I think that helps, even though they're not perfectly spaced. Get three p three three uh things on each pizza. All right, so shabanga, and then shabam. And shabam. We get two pieces or three pieces of ingredients per slice. That helps. And I didn't do that that very good. Because that with this pizza I am complete. What's a two what's a young boy like that gonna do with two eggplant pizzas? Hey, you know. You know, uh, I like a mushroom thing. Yeah, mushroom pizza. You got it. A mushroom pizza coming up. So, in this episode, we have figured out that this diagram thingy is great, but then it's also really, really hard to get these pieces of pepperoni, or pieces of ingredient, right on it. And I'm assuming the bigger the fingers you have, the harder it's going to be. So, if it was on PC and you were just clicking with the mouse, it would be so much easier because, you know, the mouse is a little bitty and it doesn't take up much room and, you know, the normal. And it should be, like, right there. There we go. Come on. I wish the diagram showed up to cut it. I just want to hug this pizza forever. That's, that, I don't advise that. What do we got now? Come on, give it to me. Can I get a pizza with onions? Sorry, dude. I need one pizza with pepperoni, cheese, sausage, and another pepperoni with cheese and... You need one pepper, one pizza with pepperoni, cheese, and sausage, and another pizza with pepperoni, cheese, and sausage. So you need two pepperoni, cheese, and sausages. Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying? Golly, lady. Make it simple. I need two pepperoni and sausage cheese pizzas, please. Or you don't even have to say cheese. Cheese is a given. That's cheese on a pizza is like that's like specifying that you want crust. I mean, if you ask me, I just But this, I think, will keep us from using so many ingredients. Because we're going to use three pieces of ingredients per pizza. So it's going to be more, more accurate as far as how... We're not just slapping ingredients everywhere. So I think it's going to help our profit in the long run. I could be extremely mistaken. But I think that's the way it's gonna be. I think it's gonna I think it's gonna do good in the long run. But it's gonna take some getting used to before we're used to actually uh where to cut and all that stuff and getting it on here. Here we go. My life was terrible until this pizza. Hey. That's great. We're turning lives around with pizza. Um, can I get a pizza with just pepperoni? Absolutely. Just pepperoni, though? Can I get a pizza with just pepperonis? Okay, I'm just going to put pepperonis on here. Because a normal pepperoni pizza 
is um, a normal pepperoni pizza is eleven dollars. And seeing as how we didn't charge her for, we only charged her nine. I'm guessing that this is what she wanted. That one slice has only got like half a pepperoni on it. I just want to hug this pizza. Hey, we did it right. Getting good at, getting good at, uh, just half pepperoni, half mushroom is the way to go. Two slices just in half. And we're closed. Was that half? Half pepperoni, half mushroom. Okay, all right. And then apparently somebody's going to eat this thing. Oh, half pepperoni, half mushroom. Right, that's what she said, right? Yep. Going through the oven, and then just we're just gonna cut it in half, cause she she's a halvesy type person. I guess somebody's gonna fold this half and half and eat it. Play the victory fanfare! I have received the perfect pizza. Yay! Oh look, hey, five pepperoni pies for the team. Z A. Five pepperoni pies. Okay, I hope you're gonna pay. Because this ain't no charity. Alright. Boom, boom, boom. 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 To the oven. All right, here we go. Go put that in the oven. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Getting lots of practice here. All right. I hope that pizza's not burning in the oven. Slice, slice, and slice, 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 and slice, 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 and slice. All right, put that in the oven. All right, that's three, that's four, and then this will make five. At least they're staying happy. I better not be doing this for free. Okay, all right. Boom. Boom and boom. Boom. Boom and boom. All right, there we go, five pepperoni pizzas. Here you go, boys. Grand Slam. Oh, a $13 tip. Nice. Nice. $76 total profit. Bazinga. Perfect. That is awesome. That is so awesome. So now we can actually get, we can get onions and olives. We can't get both, but we can get, we'll go ahead and get olives. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get olives. And then in the next episode, we should be able to get onions. And then, you know, we've got a bunch of, oh, that's all the, oh, wow. But then that's going to, it's going to make it tricky because people are going to be like, oh, I want like a half of pepperoni and a half of this and a half of that. Uh, let's see. Speedy oven. Well, yeah, we need to do that. Uh, let's see. Repairs. No repairs needed. Decorations. We're good there. Back. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Good Pizza, Great Pizza. I just wanted to, uh... I wanted to show you guys my imp first impression of the ingredient thingy. That's why I didn't. So I'm going to play some off camera. We might make it to like day 35 or something like that. And then I'll do another episode to see, tell you guys where we are. Um, maybe maybe after I've made some major, major additions. 
gonna get some decorations and stuff like that so if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up let me know what you think in the comments down below and i will uh if you're new here consider subscribing if you're a return subscriber thanks for coming back it's a pleasure to have you and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye